Trey Sermon is in the backfield now on third and long, helping in the blitz pickup. Minshew steps up and delivers for a first down. Out across the 40-yard line, the catch is made by Will Mallory, his 14th catch as a rookie. Get the ball out quickly, early. Get your quarterback in that rhythm. Minshew in a rhythm early. There's Mallory again with a spinning catch for a first down. Dealing with the contract holdout, but he signed the extension. And here he is again, and the rushing champion of the NFL from two years ago with another good run as he takes it into the red zone. RPO gave to Taylor, this time he punches it home, and the Colts on the opening drive give Jonathan Taylor his first crack at the end zone in a month. He's got it. 75-yard drive for the score. Well, you just got to watch Bud Dupree coming down here off the edge, and the gap that that creates inside. You see the tight end coming across the ball right there, creates that little seam. Jonathan Taylor does the rest. Bring your own blocker. Heineke looking past the sticks. A good throw. He's got a first down as he's able to find Scotty Miller. And off for Robinson. And look at the speed of Bijan Robinson trying to break it into the open field all the way down to the 25 of Indianapolis. Heineke, end zone, got him in. It's Pitts. It's a touchdown. What a start for Heineke and the Falcons. A response. Let's watch Heineke right here. Watching it the whole way, patting the ball, comes back to the tight end, running to the corner right there. You've got the underneath coverage. You're exposing that. You put Drake London down there. Create that opportunity to get it over the top. Fake the Taylor, right back to downs. There's the speed. Second down, Minshew floats it, and a diving attempt by Kylan Granson. There is a flag thrown as well where Calais Campbell. Atlanta showing pressure but bringing four. Minshew still gets brought down. Campbell and company were all there. Arnold Evacati is going to get credit for the sack. A fake to Tyler Algier, a float. And a catch by Kyle Pitts, and that is huge for Atlanta to get out of the shadow of their own goalpost. Blitz opportunities to try to create those tackles in the backfield and get the Falcons behind the chains. Here it comes again. Yeah, you just saw it that time off the edge by Samson Ebukam, number 52. And Chu comes back to his last read, and a tough catch by DJ Montgomery in traffic for the first down. In on third and long. Just a four-man rush for Atlanta. Minshew, elusive as he tries to get to the outside, but he's going to be short of the line to gain. Third and 14. A little cross underneath. Here comes Cordero Patterson, another guy they want to get a little bit more involved. Mix and match your people, develop people so that you don't miss a beat when you got an injury like the Pittman injury. Minshew, a floater. There was a grab of Mo Ali Cox. Looked like DeMarco Hellams, the rookie that time, matched up with a big tight end. Earlier in the Pass game on that corner. Number 37 defense. The ball will be placed in spot the foul. Automatic first down. Four straight incompletions now for Minshew. Third and long. Atlanta showing some pressure, and they're going to bring it. Here comes Dupree. Minshew escapes him, delivers, and it's through the hands of Alec Pierce. Bijan Robinson from scrimmage this year. And they come up when they need it most. Right back to Algier with a lot of space and a big hit into EJ Speed. It was power against speed at that time. 19 yards, but we'll check that marker as well. A key in that linebacking court. Swing it out. Here's Robinson again. And he's trying to stay in bounds. He dances close to the sticks. As the NFL's leading tackler, Zaire Franklin, forced him out. Second and long for Heineke. Gets away from the pressure. He can scramble a little bit as well. 
And he'll set up a third down and medium as he goes crashing into the net. And now Heineke off the drop. He finds Drake London. His first catch, and he fights for yardage down inside the 10-yard line. First and goal for Atlanta. Heineke. He has Robinson. Robinson holds on. It's a touchdown for Atlanta or no? They're going to say he was out of bounds initially. Now the officials are discussing it. They had to do a better job as a receiver out there on the edge. Now Ku with a chip shot puts Atlanta in front. Repaired just a few weeks ago. They've got Goodson in on this third down. Little orbit motion from Downs. Minshew with that pocket collapsing. This is what Atlanta wanted. Crush the pocket, get to Minshew, and it's Caden Ellis with his third sack of the year. They're hoping that Tennessee beats Seattle as well to try to knock them down. Janu Smith breaking tackles and pounding his way to a first down. That's where we've been so good. We haven't missed opportunities turning the ball over. Well, there's one right there. Second down, right back into the thick of things, this time for Pitts, and Franklin is there for the stop. And second and three, open man on the slant. It's Van Jefferson. He's got the first down on a pickup of 13. Guys like that, like short memories, they don't care. Heineke stepping away from the pressure and a little push pass to Bijan Robinson. He just shot puts it in the Colts territory at the 49. Who delivers and a distance kick to maybe get back on track for Young Wei Ku. Crucial turnover, and they almost open up the half with it. Now back to Robinson, a little bobble, but he controls. This is where Robinson is so dangerous in the open field. It's Cordero Patterson with a good edge run. And some good running game to start this second half after that <laughs> fumbled snap. Right back to Patterson, and he gets the first down. And part of the issue is, you know, your quarterback's turned it over 16 times so far this year. Fisk blocking, Algier running. Goodbye. Big run for Algier into the end zone. Run, run, Tyler. 19 straight points for the Falcons. When you can lock up the edge, right, you lock up this edge, you get your fullback out there leading. Here you go, Fisk on the edge, and ain't nobody want to take on 270-pound fullback. And then... Minshew, under pressure, he delivers, and Mallory could not hold on. Is it a catch and a fumble? It's going to be ruled as such. Catch and fumble and recovery by Mallory. Minshew under pressure. He delivers and Mallory could not hold on. Is it a catch and a fumble? It's going to be ruled as such. Catch and fumble and recovery by Mallory. Guy is just a phenomenal player. Taylor in motion that time. Minshew floats in. Oh, over the top of the defender and into the hands of Kylan Granson for a first down. He was a consultant for the Eagles two years ago when Steichen was the OC. Minshew stepping away up the middle. First down. Still going into the red zone. Gardner Minshew with a scramble to move the chains. He's getting tended to now. Four-man rush, pocket collapses on Minshew, and there's Calais Campbell getting the sack on his former Jaguar rookie, Gardner Minshew. Driving, gets the sack. Fourth of the day for Atlanta, and they push him back to third and 21. Minshew delivers, and a good catch by Josh Downs to make it an easier field goal try. Get back on track, much like Youngway Koo. That one was perfect. Third and long, Heineke wheels it out on the screen. Here's the sprint, and it is a first down for Janu Smith. Strong hands by Hodge. Heineke drills one over the middle, and another tough catch made by an Atlanta receiver. Some big
Big chunk plays on the first couple Atlanta drives in this second half. Here is Algier looking for another one. And he picks up another first down. 11 yards down to the 24. The third down and nine. Falcons have converted three straight on third down. Colts looking for a stop, bringing an extra man. Heineke launches, and it's just overthrown. Trying to find Van Jefferson. Trying to connect from 41. And he does. 13-point advantage. Elias Campbell will start on the sideline. Lorenzo Carter is back. He is on the field for the Falcons' defense. Minshew keeps the momentum going. Granson picks up a first down with Helms submarining him out. But as a receiver, you expect to make those catches. Pierce had one early as well. Minshew on second down. Gets rid of it quickly into a tough spot. Oh, man, Granson took it away from Caden Ellis for eight yards. League average is 50%. Right around there is where the Colts are. Minshew keeps it, gets rid of it. It's Granson for a first down into Atlanta territory. Inside the 45. Nice play design on fourth and short. They'll keep it on the ground with Sermon. And Bud Dupree was right there, ready and waiting. They'll keep it on the ground with Sermon. And Bud Dupree was right there, ready and waiting. Minshew, getting away from the pressure, stops and throws, dangerous throw, it is tipped, it is deflected, it is Atlanta football, it's a turnover on downs. They bring the extra man again, and Heineke with a low throw that stops the clock on the incompletion. And we don't care about what you do, and that's what Atlanta said on that last play. Bringing the pressure this time, Minshew. Deep ball, Pierce, it is Jesse Bates! He's been doing it all season long. It's his sixth interception of the year, second in the NFL, and it comes at the biggest possible time in the fourth quarter. Now they go to Robinson with Fisk as the fullback. Toss play, Matthews out there blocking. There goes Bijan Robinson. E.J. Speed forces him out. Another big play from the Atlanta backs. Robinson in motion. They give it to him. Stay in the field of play and get brought down by Tyquan Lewis. And the Colts will use a second timeout with 5.48 to play. 35-yarder here for Koo, who has had a nice bounce back day. This is to try to make it a 16-point lead. Boy, he looks like his old self now. Oh, man, Dupree was trying to jump the snap. And Minshew unable to get away. The first man there was the safety, Richie Grant. Have to go for it, obviously, on fourth down. The line to gain is the 35. Minshew on the move. Launches for Montgomery. Gets pulled late while Washington's fighting for a playoff spot and doesn't get the chance. He gets the start for Desmond Ritter. And his team has another first down inside of four minutes to play. Down to the field and KP for more. It's Patterson. Good penetration by Grover Stewart. But that's going to take us to the two-minute warning with a kick coming to be on your screen and horrify all of you. <laughs> Young Wei Koo with a perfect day. Cleveland's last division title was 89. The Lions up six. Their last was in 1993. We'll have bonus coverage from U.S. Bank Stadium coming up with Kenny Albert, Jonathan Vilma, and Shannon Spake. Back in Super Bowl 44. Remember, he was part of the planning of that surprise onside kick to open the second half. Comeback route, and Minshew finds Pierce. And Phillips keeps him in bounds and less than 30 seconds to play. On the inside, bringing pressure. There's Goodson. And the Atlanta native will close it out. But the hometown team, led by the hometown boy, Taylor Heineke. He's the hometown hero on this holiday weekend for the moment. Arthur Smith.
will keep it going and hope for some help as they create a bigger log jam in the NFC at 7 and 8. Colts drop to 8 and 7. State Farm Game Break with Kurt is coming up for Mark, Christina, and our great crew, Adam Amin, saying have a happy holiday, everybody.